Ever wondered what SEMPS is and why it's so important in electrical circuits? Let's dive into it. SMPS, short for Switched Mode Power Supply, is a key player in the world of electrical circuits. It's the device that steps up to the plate when we need to convert AC supply into DC supply. Now, you might wonder why we need to do that. Well, many of our modern devices from microprocessors to automation instruments require a regulated DC supply to function smoothly. That's where SMPS comes in. It uses high-speed switching transistors, diodes and other electronic devices to turn unregulated or regulated AC supply into a steady, regulated DC supply. This means it provides a consistent flow of power, free from any surges or spikes, which is crucial for high-class electronic circuits. Simply put, without SMPS, we wouldn't have a regulated power supply for numerous devices and applications. So, how does SMPS work to provide this regulated DC supply? At the heart of a switched mode power supply, or SMPS, are high-speed switching transistors and diodes. These components work together to convert an unregulated or regulated AC supply into a regulated DC supply. Here's how it happens. The SMP switches on and off at a high frequency, and with each switch, it converts a portion of the input voltage to the output voltage. This switching process is where SMPS gets its name. Now, the key to the whole process is the switching transistors. They are responsible for turning the power supply on and off at high speeds. The diodes, on the other hand, control the direction of the current, ensuring it flows in the right direction. Together, these components work in harmony to produce a steady, regulated DC supply from an AC source. And that's how SMPS works. It's all about high-speed switching to regulate the power supply. Now that we understand what SMPS is and how it works, let's delve into its types. There are four basic types of SMPs, buck SMPs, boost SMPS, flyback SMPs, and forward SMPs. Buck SMPS, or a step-down converter, converts a DC input voltage from a higher value to a lower one. It falls under the non-isolated category of SMPS, where input and output circuitry are not isolated. On the flip side, we have Boost SMPS, a step-up converter that elevates a DC input voltage from a lower value to a higher one. Flyback SMPS, an isolated type of SMPS, uses a mutually coupled inductor to store and release energy. It employs a transformer to forward and reverse the polarity and isolate the input and output circuits. Lastly, Forward SMPS, another isolated type, works contrary to the flyback converter. It integrates a transformer and can increase or decrease the output voltage. Each type of SMPS has its unique features and applications, but they all work towards the same goal, providing a regulated DC supply. So let's do a quick recap of what we've learned today. SMPS or switched mode power supply is a vital component in electrical circuits, responsible for converting AC supply into regulated DC supply. This device is indispensable in the field of automation, microprocessors and other low-power equipment, ensuring a steady flow of power without surges or spikes. We delved into the workings of SMPS, understanding how it uses high-speed switching transistors and other semiconductor devices to regulate the DC supply. We also explored the different types of SMPs, buck, boost, flyback and forward SMPS. Each type has a unique role, with buck and boost converters altering the input voltage magnitude to a lower or higher value respectively and flyback and forward converters providing isolation between the input and output circuitry. These variations of SMPs allow for flexibility and efficiency in a range of applications, from industrial to residential. And there you have it, a quick and easy understanding of SMPs and its importance in electrical circuits. Remember, without SMPS, our devices wouldn't function as efficiently and effectively as they do.